In November 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope detected something strange. A faint infrared signature, drifting far beyond the planets, with no visible object in sight. But its trajectory matched something we've seen only once before. It aligned perfectly with the predicted path of Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar object ever discovered. The signal revealed something even stranger, chemical traces of metallic and rocky compounds, more like a fragment from a shattered exoplanet than a comet or asteroid. Could Oumuamua be a piece of an alien world, or something else entirely? A messenger, a probe, maybe even a spacecraft sent to observe us from afar? In this video, we'll retrace the mystery of Oumuamua, from the moment it was spotted in 2017 to the bizarre behavior it showed, the controversial theories it inspired, the latest scientific findings in 2025, and finally to humanity's boldest plan yet, a real mission called Project Lyra, designed to chase Oumuamua across the stars. This is the story of a cosmic visitor and what it might have been trying to tell us. On October 19, 2017, the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii detected something moving unusually fast across the sky. At first, it seemed like just another asteroid, until astronomers noticed something odd. It wasn't orbiting the Sun, it was on a hyperbolic trajectory, a one-way path from outside the solar system. That made it the first confirmed interstellar object ever observed. It had already passed its closest point to the Sun before we even saw it. By the time telescopes turned toward it, it was already on its way out. Its shape? Unclear. Its rotation? Unstable. Its surface? Silent. It entered silently, showed no signs of outgassing like a comet, and reflected sunlight in a way that made its shape nearly impossible to define. Some called it a shard. Others, um, thought it looked like something designed. We named it Oumuamua, Hawaiian for a messenger from afar, arriving first. And yet, despite dozens of telescopes watching, it offered no answers, only more questions. But it wasn't just its origin that confused astronomers. It was what came next. At first, scientists thought, Oumuamua was a comet, but as it moved away from the sun, it did something no comet had ever done before. It began to accelerate, very slightly, but unmistakably. And yet there was no visible gas, no tail, no outgassing jets like we see on every known comet. Something, somehow, was pushing it. That wasn't all. Its brightness changed dramatically every few hours, suggesting it was tumbling, not spinning in a stable way. And based on how that light changed, scientists believed the object wasn't spherical, but long and flat. Some models even suggested it was ten times as long as it was wide like a cigar or a pancake. But we never got a picture. Oumuamua was already fading from view. All we had were light curves, trajectories, and questions. It didn't look like anything natural. And that's when the theories began. If Oumuamua wasn't behaving like anything natural, then what could it be? Scientists proposed several theories. One idea, that it was a hydrogen iceberg, made almost entirely of frozen hydrogen. As it passed close to the sun, the hydrogen would sublimate pushing the object without leaving visible gas. Another theory suggested it was a fragment from a destroyed exoplanet, torn apart by a collision, then ejected into interstellar space. A shard of a shattered world passing silently through hours. But the most controversial idea came from Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb. He suggested Oumuamua might not be natural at all, but artificial. 
a light sail, thin and reflective, designed to travel across the stars using sunlight for propulsion. Not proof of aliens, but possibly the product of intelligent design. The idea sparked debate across the scientific world. Some dismissed it as pure speculation. Others argued that the data couldn't rule it out. And as the object drifted farther away, one truth became clear. Whatever Oumuamua was, it had already left more questions than answers. But in the years that followed, new eyes and new tools would turn toward the stars. And in 2024, one of them would find something. In late 2024, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something extraordinary. A faint infrared signature, far beyond the planets, perfectly aligned with the projected path of Oumuamua. For the first time, we had chemical data. The spectrum showed traces of metallic compounds and silicate rock, materials typically found in planetary crusts. Not ice, not gas. Not what we'd expect from a comet. Meanwhile, in early 2025, a new study confirmed that a hydrogen iceberg could indeed survive interstellar travel, and that its sublimation near the Sun could explain Oumuamua's strange acceleration. These two findings, chemical and physical, began to reshape the conversation. Perhaps it wasn't a probe, Perhaps it was something even rarer, a piece of an alien world, shaped by time and chance, wandering across the galaxy, until it briefly crossed paths with ours. But if Oumuamua was just the first, how many more have we missed? If this was our first interstellar visitor, and it's already gone, what can we possibly do to study it? Could we ever catch up to something that's moving faster than any spacecraft we've ever launched? That's the question behind Project Lyra. Proposed by the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, Project Lyra is a mission concept designed to do the unthinkable, to chase Oumuamua. The plan involves launching a spacecraft that uses a gravity assist from Jupiter followed by a daring maneuver, diving close to the sun to gain enormous speed, known as the Oberth effect. From there, it would leave the solar system, not to escape, but to pursue something that already has. Other concepts include light sail technology or nuclear electric propulsion, advanced systems still in development. If launched by 2028, a probe might intercept Oumuamua by the early 2050s, a journey of decades, across billions of kilometers. But for the first time, we might study an interstellar object up close, not through guesswork, but by touching it. And if we do, what might we find? Maybe Oumuamua was just a rock, a broken fragment of a forgotten world, drifting alone for millions of years until it briefly crossed our skies and kept going. Or maybe it was something more, something built, something sent, a probe, a message, or a test, not of technology, but of attention. Because whatever it was, we noticed. For the first time in human history, we looked up and saw a visitor from beyond the stars. And we cared. We studied. We theorized. We built missions to chase it, and in doing so, we showed the universe something too, that we're watching, that we're ready to follow, that we want to understand what's out there, and maybe one day understand what that says about us, because the greatest mystery might not be what passed by, but why it passed by at all.